In this Madden 22 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a great little defense that you can utilize that will help you in defending 2x2 two two formations, primarily 2x2 two two spread sets. And we're going to kind of build off of this concept and give a little bit of kind of uh, some just conceptual defense for you in terms of how the quarters coverage works against anything. But primarily want to, again, start with 2x2 two two spread. I think it's the easiest to start with this and then we're gonna kind of expand in future videos. So if you're new to the channel, uh, again, hit the sub button. It's free, get you access to a ton of free tips and tricks for how to get better at this game. I think it's a great resource for you. So if you've not joined that, again, it's free to subscribe. You just hit the sub button down below. I also wanna quickly point out to you that we're talking today about the 335 and 335 wide out of the 46 playbook. I have a full ebook on this defense. We've actually updated it in the recent um, in, in the last week or so with a ton of new content on this defense and actually how you can run it. I don't feel like I run this defense very similarly to hardly anybody else in the Madden community because I focus so much on cover four show two. And, and, and what I'm getting at with that is it's a little bit of a spin off of this. It really does dive into some key stuff containing the quarterback. It dives into covering every formation you can think of trying to go through and show that. We show some pressures, of course, in there as well. Uh, but if you want to get access to everything, the cool part about the membership is it doesn't just get you access to the 4.6 ebook, even though it does get you access to that. It gets you access to all of my ebooks. So I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides that I've released so far in the Madden 22 season. We've also updated almost all of them throughout the course of the time. So they're very fresh. They're very up to date. They really do walk you through everything. So if you want to get access to all of those, as well as any new ebooks that we release, you'll get instant access to that as well. Um, there's a link in the description to sign up for the Patreon. $10 a month gets you everything. And we typically update that membership probably three to four times a week um, on a good week. So if you want to get access to that, ton of content to help you get better. Uh, and again, it's only $10 a month, so super cheap. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to go through a couple of concepts um, here with gun spread. And... Uh, we're going to start by uh, just kind of introducing a coverage that I've been running for the better part of the last two or three. Honest, i got to be fully transparent. I think I've only been running it this way. I've been running this coverage for two years, but I've been only running it this way probably for a, half a week, and I'm like playing the best defense I've ever played in this season. And ironically, I was telling, I was talking to my wife about this, ironically, um, I actually was running this same basic defensive concept in Madden 21 toward the end of the year. So I think it's just ironic because I had the concept but didn't fully put it together until here we are in February. So uh, anyways, that being said, you can laugh at me in the comments that I missed a wide open answer or an obvious answer to a lot of our problems that we've been having on defense. Doesn't solve every problem. I'm not here to say that I can solve all your problems on defense because to be honest, I don't know of anybody that can do that in this year's game. But what I can do is make it a lot more uh, effective. And so we're going to teach you cover four show two today out of three through five wide, how I like to run it against spread sets. So we're going to come out in three through five normal. Uh, I've got safety subbed in. So you hit triangle here and it allows you to sub in. Uh, you just go to the icon of the player and it allows you to click on him and you can go down and sub in a safety. You just want safeties there for two reasons. Better speed, of course, uh, better coverage. They jump better. And then, of course, the big one is they can play man coverage. You can cross man them on players. 335 normal allows you that flexibility when you audible to 335 wide. If you were to just come out of 335 wide, you would not be able to have that. And I think it's so important. It's why I'm super, super into this defense right now. Okay? So, cover four, show two. What you get with this, if you think about this, is you get a couple things. You get a five. Um, and maybe butcher some of the terminology, you get what's called a tight front. Basically what that means is these guys right here are in um, four eye, four technique, whatever you want to call it. But the bottom line is it's basically a bare front, if you will. Um, but we have two high, uh, two high safeties, and we have this guy over here. Now, if this was a true bear, this guy would be, of course, down here, which is why if I were to audible to Mike Blitz 3, he'd be down here. And then what you could do is you could audible here, and then you could audible here, just kind of wiggle this guy so that he stays in. I would rather him stay in. I don't want him to bounce to the outside because it makes our blitzes significantly worse. The bottom line is that's kind of some background of this. Um, it's a really good run defense too because you have a bare front, you have the safeties that are in the run fit, and then you can use for this guy. 
What I always tell people, or at least what I've started to try to tell people with this defense, do not slide the line. When you slide the line, what the, the reason, so the four-eye technique, and again, this is a very simplified version of the explanation. i got to do a little bit more research on this. But the bottom line is this guy, Lancaster, is going to eat up two guards, or um, the guard and the tackle. This guy is going to eat up the guard and the tackle. This guy is going to eat up the center, and it should allow these two guys on the edge, the safeties, to have a lot more uh, freedom. So if I were to run the ball, it's not too hard to, to, to stop the run, okay? Which is why so many people, when they're trying to stop the run, they go to this defense. They may not even know why it works, but that's, that's part of why it works, okay? So cover four, show two. All we're going to do from an adjustments perspective, um, real quick, is we're going to press. And the reason why I like to press, two reasons. I like to slot press. I like the safeties to be down as close as they can get. I want the safeties down here if I can. Okay? Um, obviously, you blitz your user, you crash your line out. We've been doing that all year. It allows us to get better sheds, and it allows us better um, It allows us um, better sheds primarily, and then it also allows us uh, the ability to be able to not get weak box. Important thing against spread. You want to manually back off those outside corners on the outside. If you don't, they will basically be in man coverage on the outside corners. What quarters coverage is is a match coverage. What it basically boils down to is we are going to read and react to the route. So if um, so, I've talked about this before on the channel. I've got a whole breakdown on it in the membership as well, much more in depth. But if Miller goes on a vertical route, which means he runs 10 yards, and runs a post, or 10 yards and runs a curl, or 10 yards and runs an out, or whatever, right? The outside corner is going to match him in man coverage. But if Miller stays underneath, then that outside corner is going to rob to the number two, or he's going to turn his attention to the number two. So the safety, of course, is referenced to number two. So if number two goes vertical, the safety takes him. If number two goes on a drag, or if number two goes on a hitch or a flat, something underneath, then this defender, King, now turns his attention to the number one and robs the number one, typically going to primarily be able to defend things like post routes and in routes, which is what we really need help with in this game. Okay, So what you're going to notice here is you'll see right here. So if I'm backed off, notice how he gets back on the corner and has great leverage to be able to defend that. One of the main reasons why I like this cover so much. Because if you were just running this, and I'll show you what I'm going to get out here. Let's say we're running Mike Blitz uh, zero, and we just run two purples. I've talked about this. This is one of the better coverages in the game. We would just run two purples, and we're going to use her in the middle of the field. What's going to get open? You might already know. Well, if we're going to run a crosser, we're going to run a slant, and we're going to run a skinny post. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can't use her the crosser and the skinny post, and if you don't have anyone to double team that, you're in real, real trouble. Okay. In quarters, we can prevent that because of double teams that we can uh, that we can get from the matching. So what I like to do here is I like to press because I want the safeties in the box, but then I'm going to very quickly move those corners on the outside back. I'm always, always, always going to blitz uh, my my user. Um, in this scenario, we're actually going to purple both of our linebackers. We're going to put both of the outside linebackers in curl flats. We're going to crash our lineup. We're going to put the defensive end on the running back side in a bluff blitz. If you want to shift them to the right, it does help him in coverage just a little bit. And then really important, this uh, slot corner. You can do whatever you want to do with this guy. So you could put him in a vert hook if you want to. Make it real easy on yourself. Um, Again, spread, that's not a terrible idea. Okay. Um, but another thing you can do is if you think about it, Who's, where's the best receiver on the field? Well, that's a slot. So I can just man him up and, and have him now there to be able to help me on that coverage. Now, what that does, and I've talked about this before, now I don't now Now, if number two goes vertical, who guards him? Well, the man coverage guards him and the inside quarter guards him. If number two goes to the flat, the man coverage still guards him. So no matter where number two goes, he's, he's going to be in man coverage on him. What this allows me to do with this backside safety now is I can man him up on anyone that I want. So I, he doesn't have to really worry about the number two receiver. So let's say that I want to put him in a middle third so that I don't get hit over the top of the deep post. I could do that. Let's say I put him in a hook curl. I could do that. Let's, I mean, there's endless possibilities that I could do with this player. I could also just leave him in the quarter. I could put him in a deep half. Um, you know, there's all kinds of things. 
My my point is you can do whatever you want with this guy. I typically will leave him in an inside quarter until I feel like I've got a, a you know a need to put him in something else. Okay, but that's pretty much my base coverage setup for spread. And then what you'll see here is that running backs taken care of. Really, you're, you see how that post, see how that match coverage covers that significantly better than man coverage will. You'll find that a lot in this game. The vertical routes like crossers, posts, all that stuff, qu quarters off. You got to be off coverage, but you certainly don't want to be. Um, you don't want your safeties to be completely out of play. Now, another little trick that you could do with this. You can shade up, it'll put purples out there, and then you can just take this guy and crossman him on anyone you want on the field as well. So let's say you're not too worried about the number two receiver over there. Let's say you're worried about the running back. Because in spread, I have to tell you, a lot of people like to throw the ball in the running back in spread. So what you could easily do, if we just want to put him in man coverage on the, on the back, we can. Or, like I said last time, we can just put him in a zone. Just throw him in a vertical hook. That'll help a lot with slant post. So if they're going to run, if they're going to run a, a slant to uh, Gronk and a post here, this is a pretty decent little coverage. You see, we got that taken care of. We can lurk here, and what the what this coverage really does a good job of is you don't have to worry. You typically don't have to worry too much about a skinny post. Really, what you have to worry about is a double post, if you will. So like the best the best concept that they can run. Is something like this right here. This is a double post with a wheel, and then we're gonna slant and come back. Something like this. This is a very good concept for this coverage. But it's really not that difficult of a user if you think about it. So again, I'm gonna set my coverage up exactly like I just uh, taught with the, the double purples. And then of course, we're gonna be in, in coverage there. Obviously, I want these guys backed off on the outside. The reason why is because it keeps the rules very, very effective. And what you'll see here, we're going to open. Okay, I don't have to worry too much about the slant, right? I don't have to worry about that tight end post. And you see there, the coverage plays pretty well, even though that's probably one of the better concepts for being able to beat match. Again, if I am faced with this, though, let's say I'm faced with this a couple of consecutive times. Well, now what I can do is I've got a tendency on my opponent, so I can drop this uh, safety to rob the post, or now I have a quote unquote post defender, if you will. And now I still have to no worries whatsoever about number two, because I manned him up, right? So now I'm in a real good position for a concept, because if I get post on either side of the formation, I'm in good shape, right? I could go something like this. I mean, these are like, everyone's going vertical, and these are tough routes to hang with. But you'll see right here, for the most part, they hang with it. Now I should have went with the triangle there, um, on the crosser, but it's very, very good coverage. So um, really what you want to kind of understand about the defense in general, your, if you do all the adjustments I said, which, again, to recap, you audible to cover four show two. You want to, shade, um, you want to blitz your linebackers, and you want to crash your line out. You want to bluff blitz the defensive end on the running back side, and then you're going to purple both linebackers and then man up the number two. I like to press and then back those guys off. And then again, you can do whatever you want with your safety. If you want to put them in a third, you certainly can do that. Okay? You do those adjustments. The only route you have to cover is a crossing route. So you're just looking for crossing, deep crossing. And you're helping. Everything else, will, for the most part, is going to be very well covered. Okay? So that is why I like this cover so much. It combines the best pieces of cover one rat which is a uh, Saban coverage, and as well as cover four quarters, which is a, a Patterson coverage. Michigan State's also very uh, big time for that, and, and I'm sure they didn't invent it, but they're famous for running those coverages. So anyways, that's how you run some of this stuff, how it works against spread, some adjustments you can do to make it better. And if you want to learn more about this stuff, this is literally the tip of the iceberg. I have not gotten in-depth at all in this video. There's so much more in the Patreon. And for just $10 a month, you get access to everything. Um, we've got a ton, a ton of stuff in there on Match, as well as a ton of additional stuff that's coming um, in the coming weeks where I'm going to really do a deep dive in, in, in explanation as to why this in particular coverage is so powerful and uh, what you can learn and what you can take away from that. So... Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it helped. If you want to get all my eBooks, you get all, the cool part about Patreon. Remember, you don't just get one eBook; you get all 18 of them. You also get all the updates to those eBooks, any other updates in the membership, 
and any new ebooks while your membership's active. So $10 a month gets you access to everything. If you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below that you can click on and be able to go check it out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you want to check out the Patreon, there's a link in the description below.